This question is essentially a problem of geometry, so let's begin by drawing our planet, or at least part of it, and let's call that the centre of the planet there. And we have a mountain here that is 100 metres high, and if we continue that line down to the centre of the Earth, or centre of the planet, sorry, there we can put the radius as well. Now, the at that point on the planet, the astronaut is looking horizontally out. That is what we call his uh, local horizontal. And we can draw a tangent to the surface of the planet. That is the direction that the astronaut is looking. He's looking down from his mountain and he's looking at the horizon. And he says that that horizon is 5 milliradians below the local horizontal. So, what else do we know in this problem? Well, we know that the point here at which the uh, this uh, tangent meets the circle is at a right angle here with a side here which is the radius of the planet. So we've formed a right angle triangle now. If this angle here is 5 milliradians, this angle here must also be 5 milliradians because this angle here will be 90 minus 5 milliradians, and this here is a, it's a triangle. So we can label this as 5 millirads. The first, th first thing the question wants us to find out is what is the radius of this planet at sea level? So what is the value of r here? So we can use trigonometry to work this out. We have a right angle triangle. We know the angle is, at the bottom is 5 milliradians. We know the adjacent length and we know the hypotenuse so we need to use cosine so the cosine of 5 and remember it's milliradians so 5 times 10 to the minus 3 is equal to the adjacent which is r divided by the hypotenuse which is 100 plus r one of the trigonometric uh, approximations that we should know is that for very small angles, which this certainly is, cos theta is approximately equal to 1 take away theta squared divided by 2, as long as our angle is in radians. Therefore, we can say that 1 take away 5 times 10 to the minus 3 squared divided by 2 equals r divided by 100 plus r. So let's have a go at solving this now. 1 take away, uh, this is going to be 25 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 2 equals r 100 plus r. So let's get rid of that. 2 from the bottom there by multiplying everything by 2. So 2 take away 25 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 2r divided by 100 plus r. Now let's start rearranging this. So 2 minus 25 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by 100 plus r equals 2r. Let's expand out those brackets. So we start with 200, which is our first, 2 times 100, take away 25 times 10 to the minus 6 times 100, which is 25 times 10 to the minus 4. Our outside, that's 2 times r, so plus 2r. And finally, take away 25 times 10 to the minus 6 r, and all that equals 2 r. Now, straight away, we should be able to see that our 2 r here and here cancel, which leaves us once we've rearranged a little bit with 200 
minus 25 times 10 to the minus 4. The reason I'm leaving it like that is because it's going to be quite an unwieldy uh, number. It's going to be very short, uh, very close to 200. But we need to we need to not simplify that too much. So we'll leave it as, as 200 take away 25 times 10 to the minus 4 equals 25 times 10 to the minus 6r. So therefore r equals 200 minus 25 times 10 to the minus 4 divided by 25 times 10 to the minus 6. First of all, let's divide through by 25. So this will give us 8 take away 1 times 10 to the minus 4 divided by 10 to the minus 6 which becomes 8 times 10 to the positive 6 minus 1 times 10 to the 2 so therefore r equals 8 times 10 to the power of 6 the reason we can sim meters the reason we can simplify that is because to, th to two or three significant figures uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 2 is insignificant and it just wouldn't appear in our answer. The second part of the question wants us to work out this distance here from the observer to uh, the horizon. So let's uh, label that distance x and we now have a Pythagoras problem. So we know that r squared plus x squared equals r plus 100 squared. And we know that r is 8 times 10 to the 6, so 8 times 10 to the 6 squared plus x squared equals 8 times 10 to the 6 plus 100 squared. So this becomes 64 times 10 to the power of 12 plus x squared equals, we can expand out these brackets again, we get 64 times 10 to the power of 12 plus 8 times 10 to the 8, so that's 8 times 10 to the 6 times 100, and that again, plus 8 times 10 to the 8 plus 100 squared, which is 10,000. As we can see, the 64 times 10 to the 12 cancels on each side, leaving us with x squared equals 16 times 10 to the power of 8 plus 10,000. To three significant figures, once again we end up losing our insignificant 10,000, so we get, end up with x squared equals 16 times 10 to the power of 8. We can take a square root of that and we'll find that x equals 4 times 10 to the power of 4 meters.